Honey, why are you back so late today? Do you miss someone? No. Ah, by the way, I hired a dance teacher. It is her. What's your name? Fu Hong. Don't you know me? My name is Lin Zhisheng. The death of my parents gave me a heavy blow. It is reported that the city's real estate tycoon Lin's couple was in a serious car accident occurred near the West Ring Viaduct. The Lin's couple both died, leaving an only daughter, Lin Shishu. Lin Shishu will inherit huge inheritances. But it also made me meet my honey, who loved me the most. Will you marry me, Shishu? I will always love you, protect you, and care for you. We have been married for two years. He has taken great care of me for the past two years. I became a college teacher, and he became the CEO of a listed company. From nothing, I lived a happy life until someone appeared. Miss Lin. Honey, let me introduce you. This is my student, Gu Xing Er. Miss Lin, your voice so serious. I'm so scared. Don't be afraid. My honey is very nice. You have a seat, and I'll get you some fruit. Baby, don't be afraid. Dad will come to rescue us. Honey, hurry up and answer the phone. Hello, honey. Miss Lin, are you looking for Mr. Fu? Shayer, why are you answering my honey's phone? Lin Shu Shu, or that just being able to answer your honey's call? Now I'm lying in your bed, in your pajamas, and sleeping with your honey. Impossible! My honey wouldn't do this to me. If you're not the only daughter of the Lins. Do you think Fu Hang would marry you? All of this is all a conspiracy to seize your property. You mistake conspiracy for love. To tell you the truth, we tampered with the break. Will you die? All your property is all ours. Go to hell, you ugly wife. Ugly wife? Ugly wife? Fu Hang, did you forget how I got this scar in my face? In the early days of your business, you checked on the construction site. Back then, there was a concrete bar suddenly fell from above. It almost hit you. It rushed over and pushed you away. My face was mutilated and disfigured. Fu Hang, Gu Xing Er, I won't let you go. Mr. Fu, my surname is Cho. Name is Chi. Your surname is Cho. Cho is a rare surname. The surname Cho originates in ancient times. It has long been forgotten. From now on, I will slowly remind you of me. It's my first thing after survival. I couldn't wait to witness your new life. Fu Hong, Gu Xing Er, long time no see. Ugly wife, back in town. Honey, it's my new pajama. Do you like it? Fu Hong, Gu Xing Er, was the benefit from my misfortune three years ago delicious? Living a new life of stepping on my bones. Are you happy? Am I pretty? Why do I really want to have grandchildren? It turns out that when wildflowers become domestic, you are also nothing. A leopard cannot change its spots. The next step, history will repeat itself. 
I'll give you a good experience of my pain in my life. Mr. Fu, in two days, it's your wife's and your wedding anniversary. I call you craft to dance. For you. Now, just let us try the dance. This dance is passionate, named Desire. Everyone has their own ambitions and desire. We shouldn't suppress ourselves. But to tear off the mask of hypocrisy and fully enjoy fire of desire. Singer! Singer! <laughs> Singer! Singer! Mr. F Miss Lin is calling me. Leave her alone. Singer! Hey! Is this exciting? Singer, you're so hot. I love it. Go, singer. If you see this scene, will you go crazy? What are you doing? Mrs. Fu, I'm discussing with Mr. Fu about the dance tracks on your wedding anniversary. Mr. Fu and you really are so loving. Honey? Let's go. Pushing her. It's not enough for me to make you crazy. Mr. Fu. Honey. Mr. Fu is truly a good man. Mrs. Fu, your marriage is so happy. We are so envious. Thank you. Gu Xing'er, today is your wedding anniversary. As your teacher, I want to give you a big gift. Thank you, Mr. Fu. What happened? Chochi, stop acting. I have seen your true color player. The lipstick mark on my husband's shirt wasn't a vibe, it's a sickly the same color as your lips. Bitch, how dare you suggest my husband behind my back? Do you think you can hide from my eyes? No, I didn't do it. Still trying to defend yourself. Do you know how I deal with mistresses like you? I will torture you. 
That's not true. The lipstick on Mr. Fu's shirt was not done by me. I really didn't do it. Stop. What are you doing? Honey, this lipstick on your shirt is from that bitch show, right? When did you two get involved with each other? Mrs. Fu, you are mistaken. I bumped into him just now, so I left the lipstick on Mr. Fu's shirt. Yes, Mrs. Fu, we were all there just now. Mrs. Fan also apologized to Mrs. Fu and wanted to compensate for Mr. Fu's wet shirt. What? Mrs. Fu even whipped someone. So vicious. People say they are happily married. But Mrs. Fu is so suspicious. Mrs. Fan, you're lucky. The whip just now should have hit you. Mr. Fu, you have a jealous wife at home. We really dare not provoke her. We should leave first. Mrs. Fan, I'm sorry. Don't go. I'm sorry. Ah, Mr. Fu, I'm sorry. How will you explain this lipstick to Mrs. Fu? Mr. Fu has to explain to her. I must compensate you for a new watch shirt. Number 503. Exactly the same as Mrs. Fan's. Honey, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I, I shouldn't have done this. I... Gu Xinar, look at what you have done. Shame on you. Are you okay? Apologize to Chou Chi. Chou Chi, I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. Forgive me, okay? What is a mistress most afraid of? Of course. Other mistresses. Afraid of being replaced by other mistresses. Gu Xingyur, as your teacher, I will give you a good lesson. That you will remember for a lifetime. Want my forgiveness? That's really... That's okay. Honey. Where are you going? To the company. I won't be back tonight. Honey. What should I do? I messed up the anniversary party and made my honey lose face. Now he won't come home. Mr. Fu is still angry. I have a way to make him forgive you. How? You cook tomorrow night and prepare a candlelight dinner. After seeing this surprise, Mr. Fu will definitely forget about these unpleasant things. That's a good idea. The game has just begun. Honey, today I prepared a surprise for you at home. Please, come back early. Got it. Hello, Mr. Fu. My back hurts. Can you come and accompany me? Where are you? I'm at the Alpo Hotel. 8811. Waiting for you. Turn around. Mr. Fu, why are you standing there? Come here. Mr. Fu, Mrs. Fu's whip last night hurt so much. But I can't see the wound on my back. Can you come and help me check it? You little devil. Your phone is ringing. Just leave it. <laughs> what if it's Mrs. Fu checking up on you? Is it okay now? Do 
user you dialed out is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Sorry, the user you dialed out is currently unavailable. Mrs. Fu, Mr. Fu wasn't at the office last night. He didn't go to the office and he didn't come home? Then where did he go? Which bitch did he fool around with? Ah! Ah! Mrs. Fu, be careful! Come on, Go Junior. Come and catch us in the act. Let the drama begin. Bitch! I'll kill you! Mrs. Fu, I still can't get through to Mr. Fu's phone. I haven't been able to contact him. Take off your clothes. Come here. In the future, you still have to tell me about Fu Hong's robots. As a reward. I will let you sleep with me. Mr. Fu, why are you back? Why is Fu Hung back? Get dressed. Hide. Balcony. 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 Hide on a balcony. Don't let him find you. The clothes. Honey, why are you back? Where did you go last night? Why didn't you answer the phone? Oh my god, look! Who's the man on the window? Honey, you haven't had breakfast, have you? Let's go out for breakfast. Honey? Who is that man outside? Secretary Cho! Secretary Cho is actually having an affair with Mrs. Fu! Oh my god! Fu Hung, the president of the Fu group, has been got called in. Mr. Fu got the daughter's couple in bed. The scene of catching a daughter is exciting. Quick, take a video with your phone. Gu Xiar, you're having an affair at home. Are you cuckolding me? I... Ah! You bitch! <laughs> honey, honey, let me explain. Get your filthy hands off me. You make me sick. Gu Xiar, let's get a divorce. Honey, honey, I don't want a divorce. I don't want a divorce, honey. Mr. Fu, my back hurts. Can you take me to the hospital? Sure. Go, Singer. Is it thrilling to catch an adulterer? Unexpected, right? The so-called scene of catching an adulterer. It was not about you catching me. It was about me catching you. This is the real surprise I'm giving you. Gu Xiar, let's get a divorce. Mr. Fu, did you and Gu Xiar get divorced? Zhou Qi, don't waste your effort trying to seduce me anymore. My wife is Gu Xiar. I will never ever divorce her. Are you disappointed? Cho Chi, I should have known. It was you. You became my dance teacher just to seduce my husband. My husband has already exposed all of your schemes. You must be very curious. Why, even after all your careful planning, Fu Hung did not dare to divorce me because he wouldn't dare. Fu Hung did not dare to divorce me because he wouldn't dare. Do you understand now? Gu Zhonghai is my father. Fu Hung has to rely on my father's support to survive. Do you think he dares to divorce? <laughs> the most indestructible thing in this world is not love. But profit, Chocha, <laughs> she lost. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, by the way, I have good news for you. I'm, 
I'm pregnant. <laughs> See her. Mm? Be careful with the baby. Mm -hmm. Let's go in. Do you like this, baby? Mom is looking forward to seeing you. Mommy loves you so much. My baby. You love mommy a lot too, don't you? Lin Shishi's unborn baby died. <gasps> Give me back my baby! Give me back my baby! My baby. Those people who caused your death will not get away with it. Gu Xingar. I have not lost yet. Yeah, you're back. Uncle Gu. Fate really does come full circle. Everyone will meet again. Who would have thought that Gu Zhonghai, the former Lin's driver, would become a rising real estate tycoon? Fu Hung, Gu Xing'er, this game is getting more and more exciting. Mr. Gu, these are all treasures from the Ming Dynasty. Over here, these are all Ru ceramics, passed down from the Song Dynasty. A complete set like this is very rare. Fang Yu! Who are you looking for, Mr. Gu? I'm looking for the unrequited love that has been buried in my heart for many years. With Mr. Gu's current status, is there any woman you can't have? Hi. This bracelet is pretty. Miss, it looks great on you. How much is it? Eight million. That's too expensive. Miss, you look a lot like someone I once knew. May I have your contact information? If you want to find our shadow in me, that's not impossible, but you're too old. I'll take this bracelet. Mr. Gu, here, miss. This is real estate tycoon, Mr. Gu Zhonghai. Yes, I am a bit old, but I am wealthy. Today is your birthday. My father came in person to celebrate your birthday. You better be half well. Here he comes! Mr. Gu is here! My dad is here. Let's go. Why is it you? You are no longer my dance teacher. I've already driven you away. What are you doing here? Somebody get this woman out of here. As long as I'm here, who dares to take a move? As long as I'm here, who dares to take a move? Let me introduce. She is Cho Chi. We will be getting married soon. She will be the hostess of this house. Fu Hong, come with me. Kuching or unexpected, right? I'm back again. If you won't let me seduce your husband, then I'll marry your father. But this time, I'm not your dance teacher anymore. I am your stepmom. Cheers. Choo choo. Since you're going to be my stepmom, you should tell us. What about your past? My past is simple. I have no parents. I'm an orphan. But I've had... a marriage before. I had a husband. And a child. You were married? Then where are your husband and child? My husband died. My child also died. They died together. Died? Why do you like this kind of woman? 
She has bad intention. She doesn't love you at all. <laughs> love. What do I love about your dad? I love that your dad is old. I love that your dad has a grown-up daughter like you. Don't be naive. Oh yes, I love your dad. I love your dad's money. Dad, look at her. See her. Show some respect to your stepmom. She never lied to me. So what if she loves my money? I have plenty of it. As long as she's willing to love me. Mr. Fu, Mrs. Fu, what about you? What? I heard you have been married before. Mr. Fu had a previous wife, but she died in a car accident. And fell into the sea. I can't believe it's such a coincidence. Could it be that you two were having an affair and caused the death of his previous wife? You two are murderers. I will make you pay for your crimes now. Why are you so nervous? I'm just making a casual gesture. It's just a joke. You are crazy, crazy. Sir, that's crazy. Then I'll let you, the two murderers, see something even crazier. Come to my room later. Mr. Fu, please behave yourself. I am your stepmom now. It's Gu Xinyer. She had someone tamper with the brakes of my ex-wife's car. She is the murderer. I have a recorder pen in my hand. It's the evidence of the crime. Where is the recorder pen? Give it to me. I'll wait for you in my room. Come and keep me company. She does Fu Hung really have a recorder pen? Whether it exists or not, tonight I have to be with him. I'll wait for you in the room. We'll find out. Don't mention that old man. Is he better than me at this? After he dies, everything in the goose will be mine. <laughs> But Gushinger. Gushinger arranged her secretary to monitor my whereabouts. She makes me a cuckold. The child in the bell is probably a bastard. I've had enough of this disgusting woman. She was just a mistress. Once I get everything from the goose, the first thing I'll do is divorce her. Dad, Zhou Qi and Fu Hung are in the room ahead. I came up with a good plan. Say it. Later, you will lure Zhou Qi with the pen. Zhou Qi. You set me up for an adulterer before. Today, I'll give it back to you. You set me up for an adulterer before. Today, I'll give it back to you. What are you doing? It's not what you think. Listen to me. Dad, it has nothing to do with me. It's her. Chochi seduced me. She texted me asking me to come to her room. If you don't believe me, take a look. Dad, Chochi is just a woman who sleeps around and slutty bitch. She seduced you and even seduced my husband. Chi, 
Didn't you say you're here to celebrate Mr. Goose's birthday? What are you talking about? I'll explain what she is talking about. Shanghai, today is Mr. Fu's birthday. Let's celebrate his birthday together. How are you going to set up right? I'll send a text message first. I'll ask Mr. Fu to come to my room. You're going to hide in the room beforehand, and then give him a surprise. I sent the text message from Chi's cell phone. Now you understand what's going on, Dad. Let me explain. You bastard! Without today's incident, I wouldn't have known about your wild ambitions. Don't mention that, old man. Is he better than me at this? After he dies, everything in the goose will be mine. But Gu Xingyer. Gu Xingyer arranged her secretary to monitor my whereabouts. She makes me cuckold. The child in the belly is probably a bastard. I've had enough of this disgusting woman. She was just a mistress. Once I get everything from the goose, the first thing I'll do is divorce her. Gu Xingyer was a mistress. Don't you know about this? Mr. Fu used to have an ugly wife, and it seems that Gu Xing was this ugly wife's student. Such an explosive affair! The student ended up in her teacher's husband's bed. Gu Xing and Fu are sure know how to blame. Chia, I'm sorry to let you go through this. Dead. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? My baby, oh, my baby. Quick, take her to the hospital. My baby. Fu Hung, Gu Xingyer. No one knows your lies better than I do. Since you want to play, then I can only give you a birthday that you'll never forget. Fu Hung, Gu Xingyer. Happy birthday. Look at the project you've done. I'm very dissatisfied. If it happens again, you'll be removed from your current position. Miss Chen, please come this way. Also, Xinar is currently lying in the hospital to protect her pregnancy. You better stay by her side and protect her and her child. If anything happens to them, your good days will be over too. Get out! <laughs> Mr. Fu. Come in. Help me put on this anklet. Fohan, is this the life you wanted? You're hypocritical, greedy, selfish, and you're ambitious and striving to climb up even if it means stepping over others. You chase after fame and fortune, indulging in the pleasures and excitement that money and women bring you. But what if you gained? As a son-in-law to the goose, being cuckolded without daring to be angry, not daring to speak without considering the father-in-law's mood, all that glory and wealth is like sand, slipping through your fingers. It's all just a dream. In fact, there was once a silly woman who was willing to risk her life to love you. She didn't care about your background, supported your career, gave you a family and a child. This is for you. This is the money my parents left me. It's all in here. If you need it, just take it. So... You don't have to work so hard. What's mine is yours. We're husband and wife, united in heart. Honey, you're back. Why are you sleeping here? I've been waiting for you. The baby moved. Mm, the baby moved. You're going to be a father. This might be the closest you've ever been to happiness.
。林诗诗 ，Is that you？ <笑>林诗诗 ，Aren't you supposed to be dead already？ 姐。Chong Hai, help me put on this anklet. Okay. Chong Hai, you're so naughty. This is an office. This woman in front of me is like a puppy, beautiful and enticing, yet deadly. She couldn't be the innocent Lin Shishu. Yes, Lin Shishu is already dead. What are you doing? Tia, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Look at this. All of this is money. That old man goes on high. Thought he could hold on to me. I, I've already transferred billions of dollars from the goods account. I have money, lots and lots of money. I can give all of this to you. We can share everything. You can come with me. Tonight we'll leave on a ferry and settle down overseas. I'll take you away. <laughs> Chi, why are you laughing? Fu Hong, do you know what you've done? You've committed kidnapping and commercial fraud. Add it up. These are enough for you to spend a lifetime in jail. Fu Hong. You're finished. How could I be finished? I won't be finished. By the time they find out, I would have taken you away, changed our names, and settled abroad. Why do you want to take me away? Because you understand me. The feeling you gave me is familiar, like something I had lost, and now desperately want to find again. But you won't find it. I won't go with you. Why? What do you really want? If you go overseas with me, we can live together. We can have a home with me in it, and we can also have a child. Aren't these things what you want? Reclaiming what was lost can ease the unsettled feelings in your heart. Yes. How can I calm my restless heart? Tia, can you give me another chance? This time, I will love you well. Are you hungry? I'll cook noodles for you. I think this is his first time cooking. Years of sincerity. Actually changed his mind. Here you are. Why are you crying? Mountains and seas have their own return dates. I've made peace with myself. Fu Hong, I will go with you. We'll go abroad and start over. Great. Chi, hurry up! Chi, what's wrong? We're leaving tonight. We're going to start our new life. Let's go. Gu Xiar, why is it you? Where is Chi? Hmm. Didn't expect it to be me. Right, it was George who called me. Gu Xingyan, you should come quickly. The end of this drama won't be perfect without you. And I have to correct you on one point. I didn't seduce Fu Hong. Fu Hong has always been the one I left behind. You've always been the one picking up my mess. 
always have been. Jojo is not coming. <laughs> she is gone. <laughs> Well, you abandon me and the kids that run off with the money. You even brought that bitch George with you. Ah, let me tell you. The biggest mistake you've made was taking her with you. Not only did she call me, she also called the police and she took everything you had. She sent you from heaven to hell. She left you with nothing. <laughs> this time, chose to run away without you. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Child, my child. Fuhung, I had the miscarriage. <laughs> Fuhung, don't move. You're under arrest. Chi, I can't believe you do this to me. Why? Why? Shi Shi, it was you. Chi, Fu Hung has been arrested and sentenced to live imprisonment. Ku Xinger pushed all the charge of killing you to Fu Hung, and she managed to clear herself completely, but she had a miscarriage. Her baby's gone. I'll cook you some noodles. Fu Hung, I can't believe you're still using my birthday as your password. Fuhan, your bowl of noodles indeed helped me find peace with myself. I forgave my stupid self. Do you have any idea how ridiculous you look right now? The woman you once discarded like worn out shoes is now someone you treasure. From the moment I survived, I vowed to take back everything that once belonged to me. A tooth for a tooth. I wish you all the best. Now, you shall have nothing. You abandoned me back then, and now, it's my turn to abandon you. Chu, Fu Hung wants to see you. Shi Shi, I'm glad you're not dead. Lin Shi Shi is already dead. Have you forgotten? You killed her yourself. I'm Chou Shi. Now. Aren't you afraid that I will tell Gu Xinger about your identity? Fu Hung, you're gonna be a dad. Turns out, that was really my happiest moment. Your parents... Your parents' deaths were not accidents, but deliberate acts. The murderer is Gu Zhonghai. What did you say? Did Gu Zhonghai kill my parents? Once I passed by Gu Zhonghai's study, and overheard his conversation with Gu Xinar. Gu Zhonghai personally orchestrated the car accident. He was infatuated with your mother. Initially, he planned to wait for your father's death to take over the links and have your mother for himself. But he didn't realize that your mother also got in the car that day, resulting in their deaths. Gu Zhonghai, Gu Xinar. So it's you guys. Gu Xinar has the driver's daughter. Has been jealous of you, the rich girl from the Lings. After your parents died, she pretended to be your student to seduce me. She loves everything you have. She wants to take anything that belongs to you. Shi Shi. You ask me. How to calm my restless heart. Look up three feet. There is a god. I once made a wish to the gods. To never see you again. In this lifetime. Shi Shi! Don't you love this?
this princess dress I'm wearing? This is my gift to you. I don't want your charity. One day, sooner or later, everything you own will be mine. With such deep enmity, the goose, I'm not done with you. Tia, hurry up to the 196 mansion. I'm going to propose to you here to be my Mrs. Ghoul. Help me investigate Chochu. Mrs. Ghoul, what do you mean? I find Chochu suspicious. She looks just like someone that person is Lin Shishu. Isn't Lin Shishu dead? I suspect she didn't die. I asked Fu Hung when I visited the prison just now, and so he denied it. I feel like she's the one. Hurry and investigate. I'm going to find out who Cho Cho really is. Okay, Miss Gu. Well, hello, brother. You finally come back. We have a seductress in our family. Excuse me, miss. You can't go in. Alice! Mr. Gu, come in, please. Uh, honey! Honey! Honey, let's go! Thank you for earlier. Brother, you finally come back. Dad's got a big wedding planned here. He's going to marry that seductress, a seductive seductress who wants to be our stepmom. Let's go. Let's go find out who our stepmom really is. Tia, will you marry me? Okay. It's her? From now on, she will be my Mrs. Gu. Come on, let me introduce you. This is my son. Gu Yan Chen. Yan Chen, this is your stepmother. It's him. He's the son of Gu Zhonghai. Hey, why are you so late today? I met a strange girl at the gate of the mansion just now. She was holding on to my arm and calling me husband. Huh? Who is this girl? This girl is far away, but also right in front of us. She is... This girl is far away but also right in front of us. She is... I'm going to the restroom. Well... I've forgotten who that girl is. Yanchen, uh, you're going to marry into a rich family. Your future wife must be a daughter from a prestigious family. Don't be fooled by the seductive fox out there. Huh? Pretend? You don't know me? Go of me! So, so you came in calling me husband to find my dad. Did you ever call my dad husband? Mr. Gu, please behave yourself. Now you're asking me to behave. So you used me and now you want to keep me away. Jie! Where are you? Your dad is here. Let go of me! It's good my dad's here. Just so he knows who seduced me. I'm not some seducer. I'm your stepmother. Tia! Tia! Hey, Tia, I've called you so many times. Why don't you answer? Didn't you hear just now? Why is your face so red? It's probably because I'm feeling hot. Is there someone in there? Zhonghai! There's no one inside. I'll go see for myself. Zhonghai! Do you suspect me of cheating? Hey! Chia! Chia! Chia, I like you so much. That's why I'm so paranoid. Don't be angry. Zhonghai, I'm not angry anymore. I promise I won't do this again. It's all right, Zhonghai. Let's go. 
Master, still no sign of Ling Shishi. I've been looking for her for years, but there's been no sign. I think she might have died in that car accident. Shishi will not die. Continue to investigate. Yes, Master. The son of a poor driver, bah, hit him. Stop, you mustn't bully him. She is Lin Shu Shu. Run! Brother, don't be afraid. I'll protect you. You're cold, aren't you? Shu Shu, I was late. I failed to protect you. Where are you now? The groom has arrived. Gu Zhonghai, you're finally here. I've been waiting for you anxiously. Mr. Gu, why is it you? My dad's not feeling well. He can't come. Today, I'm here to marry you on behalf of my dad. You can't escape. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Please, groom, put the wedding ring on the bride's finger. The ceremony is complete. Kiss, 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 kiss. Gu Yangqing, how dare you? I'm your stepmother. Now I'm your husband. How dare you? Tell me, what is the purpose of your visit to the Gu's? How about this? Why don't you come after me instead? After all, I'm younger, richer than my dad, and more capable of satisfying you. Very interesting. Where did Gu Zhonghai put that recorder pen? Stepmom, what are you looking for? Do you want me? To help you. You! Your dad's not feeling well. I came to get his medicine. Does my dad know about you getting medicine? He happened to come over. How about I ask him personally? Lord? Chao Chi, what is the purpose of your visit to the Goose? No matter what your purpose is, you've already lost. This is not the end yet. Who knows who will win, and who will lose? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mr. Gu, you've played tricks on me multiple times. As your stepmother, I should give you a big payback. What payback? Watch closely. Stepmother's classroom is now in session. Help! 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 He said he wanted to assault me. He tried to rape me. Yancha, what the hell is going on here? Dad, I didn't do anything. She's just making things up. As soon as he saw me, he threw his arms around me. He said I was too pretty and attractive and it ignited his desire. He said, he liked me, he wants me. Zhong Hai, if you don't stand up for me today, then I'll hit my head and die. Wait! Zhou Zhe, I know you've been wrong. I will definitely stand up for you. You disobedient child. Go back to our hometown, kneel in front of the ancestral shrine, reflect on your actions! Cheers. George, you bitch. You've caused chaos in the coast since you entered. Miss Gu. Did you find out if Zhou Chu is related to Ling Shishu? Any news yet? Not yet. Trash! Hurry up and investigate. Gu <laughs> Yanjin, what are you doing? 
Are you planning to kneel in front of the ancestral shrine again? Didn't you say I liked you that I ignite your desire? Stepmother, since you've accused me of so many things, I can only admit to them. After all, I'm my dad's son. What's the big deal if I kneel in front of the ancestral shrine again? You... you... Don't you dare, Gu Yanchen. I'm your stepmother. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I was just playing a little joke on you earlier. I brought you here to watch a good show. Cho Chi, I finally see who you really are. Go! Bring Cho Chi here! You set up security cameras beforehand. Your performance last night was so brilliant. How could I be the only one to enjoy it? <laughs> Cho Chi, no matter what your purpose was, for entering the goose, it's all over now. It ends here. This time, Choji will suffer! Ch Something is going wrong. Gushir has sent someone to investigate your identity. She suspected you are Ling Shishu. Meow meow. I've already been exposed to Gu Chung Hai. Then you should get the hell out of here. You are in grave danger. Gu Yajun has been looking for me all along. Chi, have you left the goose? Suddenly... I don't want to leave anymore. Choji is there! Meow meow. Do me a favor. What are you doing? Let go of me! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of me! Let me go! Joe's here. Speak up. What exactly is the purpose of your visit to the Goose? Chongai, I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, if you still won't speak up. Then I have to make you suffer. Follow the rules of the house! Beat her! Beat her until she talks! Who put you up to it? Speak up! Who put you up to it? Speak! That's enough! Still won't speak, huh? Who you are? Who the hell are you? Daddy, brother. I know who she is. Chou Chu is the only doctor of the lids. Ling Shi Shi. She is Lin Shi Shi? Yes, Daddy. My people just found out she is Lin Shi Shi. Back then, she miraculously survived that car accident and had plastic surgery to become George. She came into the goose to seek revenge. Daddy, when dealing with weeds, we must remove the roots. George cannot be spared. Come on. Wipe her to death! I'm here! I dare anyone to touch her! I won't allow any of you to harm her. Shishu, Shishu, you're awake. Who are you? Why don't I remember anything? My head hurts. What's wrong with her? Why does she have a headache? Mr. Gu, she has been under a lot of emotional stress. The headache is supposed to be temporary memory loss. Memory loss? Uh, who are you? Who am I? Why am I here? Shisha, uh, don't be afraid, Shisha. I'm your brother. I'll protect you. Brother, don't believe her. She must be faking amnesia, trying to fool you with an amnesia truth. Brother, she's fierce. 
Ling Xie Xie, you bitch. Stop pretending. Brother, this person is really scary. Get her out of here. Get out. Brother, I'm your sister. If you still want to be my sister, don't hurt Xie Xie. Yan Chen, this woman is trying to infiltrate the ghouls. She has bad intentions. Xie Xie can't handle any more stress. All of you, out. You... Get out! Shishi, they're all gone. You can sleep now. Brother, can you stay here with me? Brother, can you stay here with me? Of course I can. I will always be with you. <clears throat> Shishi, I finally found you. I came late. And you suffered so much. No one can hurt you from now on. Meow Meow, help me with something. Since Gushin Er already suspects that I am Lin Shishu, then I will just expose it to her that I am Lin Shishu. Chu, you're gonna reveal yourself? Don't worry, I'm willing to take the risk. I found a way to destroy the goose. What are you planning to do? Guiyan Chen, you are the way to destroy the goose. Don't blame me for using you. No one in the goose is innocent. Our future Mrs. Ku must be a rich family. Do you think Mrs. Ku will marry that Chou Chu? Even though she didn't marry the Lord legally, they had a wedding ceremony. She married the father first and then seduced the son. It's really disgraceful. Yes, Chou Chu, let me introduce you. This is the daughter of the Shans. Shenya, you are stepmother of Yanjin. Did I let you go? Let me go. I hear you trying to seduce my brother Yanjin. Do you believe that I can scratch your seductive folks' face? Will you scratch my face? Will you let me teach you? Keep your hands steady. The knife cuts down from here, and blood will flow out. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> your brother Yanchen likes my face the most. If you ruin my face, how can I seduce your brother Yanchen? Stab here. The deeper the knife goes, the more your brother Gu Yanchen will feel heartbroken. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Shishu! 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 You! Call a doctor! Call a doctor! Shishu, let me explain. It wasn't me. I saw it with my own eyes. And you want to deny it. Shishu, yeah? You better hope Shishu is okay. Otherwise, I want you buried with her. Ah! Uh, Yanchen! Shinna! Mr. Gu, fortunately it wasn't a deep stab. I've already treated the wound. Take good care of yourself. Shisha, does the wound still hurt? The pain is gone. What's a little pain compared to being destroyed by your family? Don't pretend to be brave in front of me. I know it hurts. But I promise, it's the last time. Next time, I'll put myself in front of the knife and protect you with my life. Shisha, it's time to take your medicine. I'll do it myself. Let me feed you. You're not alone anymore. You have me. Brother, don't you like it when I kiss you? I know you like the daughter of the Shens. Shishi, I have nothing to do with the Shen daughter. I like you. Do... Do you like me? Mm, I also like you, big brother. I'll give you whatever you want. What if I wanted the entire goose? Is the master in Chochi's room again? Yes, the master has been accompanying Chochi all this time. Just now, Mr. Shen called to investigate the responsibility. I think the master is truly being blinded by Chou Chi. 
If this continues, the whole family is gonna break up. What should we do? Lin Shu Shu, if you want to cause trouble in the goose, don't blame me for being cruel. Go, give Mr. Shen a call. Ask him to come over. And tell him I have something to explain. Also, bring some ecstasy. And find two more men. I will take care of it right away. This is the medicine the young master asked me to bring. Well, thank you. Hot. Hot. It's so hot. <laughs> Who are you people? Why are you in my room? Get out! Beauty, you must be feeling hot. We help you cool down. Uh, 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 no, no. I hear Mr. Go likes you very much. I don't know if he's still gonna want you when you are the bitch we played with. No. Uh. Mr. Go, our Gu and the Shen families are about to form an alliance. But a few days ago, when my daughter came to visit the Goos, I heard that Mr. Gu mistreated my daughter. Daddy, it has nothing to do with Yang Chen. It's all George's doing. That big woman suggests Yang Chen. As long as Yang Chen changes his mind, I will marry him. Mr. Sha, don't get angry just yet. I promise to give you an explanation today. Sean, you're my future sister-in-law. If you've been wrong, my father will definitely stand up for you. That big Jojo has been drugged and is now hooking up with the servants. Let's go and watch the show. Mr. Shun, let's go check it out. See if you're satisfied with what I promised you. Chou Chu, which man are you hooking up with? Brother? Yan Chun, why is it you? Chu? Why can't it be me? Could it be these two dirty things? Please spare my life. Mr. Gu instructed us to do this. He gave us the drugs too. He's the one who brought us in. You, you! Daddy, I never expected you to be this kind of person, using such dirty and despicable means. It's you. Is it true? Shisha, don't be afraid. Since you want to play, I'll play along. I'll play you at your own game. Mr. Gu asked me to bring this medicine. Thank you. Yanchen, can you come back? Help! No! Yanchen! You finally came. I thought I'd never see you again. Shisha, I'm here. Yanchen, I'm so hot. I want you. Brother, don't go. Okay, I won't go. Yang Chen, why did you mess around with Chou Chu? I'm your fiancé. Yang Chen, I've always thought highly of you. And treat you as my son-in-law. Look at what you have done! Shu is already mine. I'll marry her. Miss Shen, I've never liked you. All along, I only love Shu And I won't marry you. So please stop deluding yourself. Yanchen, what's wrong? Don't you want it? I do want you, but I can't take advantage of you when you are drugged. I want you when you are sober. Shisha, please bear with it for now. I have the antidote sent over. Go Yanchen, why do I feel guilty now? I'm using you, but you really care about me. If you had taken me just now, we'd be even. 
But you didn't. Yen! Yen! This is what you promised? Good. Very well. Mr. Shen, let me explain. Dad! <gasps> Dad! Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance now! Ku Chonghai, your retribution has finally arrived. Ku Chonghai, doctor said that you've had a stroke. You are paralyzed on one side of your body. For the rest of your life will be spent in bed. Look what you end up. Years ago, you orchestrated that car accident and killed my parents. You ruined my family. Now, I want you to witness how I will ruin your family. After all, your son is now obsessed with me. Ah, ah, ah! Everyone must die! Yanchen! Yanchen! It's okay, Shusha. I've told you, I will protect you with my life. I won't let you get hurt anymore. Yanchen! Yanchen! How are you? Does it still hurt? Ah! Uh. Is it bleeding again? Let me see. Just kidding. You're such a kid. Shusha, I just like seeing you worried about me. You're really silly. You shouldn't have blocked a knife for me. I'm not worth it. Shusha, no one can hurt you. This is nothing. I can risk my life for you. It's worth it. You shouldn't be so good to me. Maybe I'm a liar. And I'm using you. That's impossible. You're the kindest and finest girl in the world. You wouldn't lie to me. Gu Yanchen, I'm afraid I have to let you down. That Lin Shishu is already dead. Hi, Chen. Gu Zhonghai had a stroke and is bedridden. I suspect that Gu Shinar has the recorder pen. She drove to the river just now. I suspect she's going to destroy the recorder pen. Chao Chu, she won this recorder, right? I'll destroy it now. Why are you here? You sent someone to spy on me? If I didn't send someone to watch you, how would I know who has the recorder pen? L what recorder pen? I can't understand what I'm saying. Give it to me! Ah, no way! This is mine and I won't give it! Ah! I finally got the recorder pen. Home. Dad, I will avenge you now. You finally stop pretending. You don't have amnesia at all. You are here to destroy our family. Yeah, you got me. All I want is to ruin your family. What about my brother? He was so kind to you. I don't believe you've never liked him, never had feelings for him. Mom, Dad, don't die. Don't leave me alone. All this is just... my plan to ruin your family. All along, I'm just using your brother and telling lies. I never liked him. <laughs> brother, you heard everything, didn't you? Miss Gu, Chelsea has been watching you. Do you want to... No need. I came up with a very good idea. I want to fight back. 
Brother, I want you to see what George is really like. See? She didn't lose her memory at all. She's a liar, full of bullshit. This is what she really is. Brother, didn't you hear what she just said? I want to hear it from her own mouth. You remember everything? Right. You get into my family just to ruin us? Right. You've been using me. You've never liked me. You've been using me. You've never liked me. Right. Even the slightest bit? I'd be happy if you liked me just a little bit. Not even a little bit. Go Yanchen. I've never liked you. Brother. Shishi. Why is my heart aching so much? I've always thought this day will come. But this day came too soon. There are many things in my life that are more important than love. My loved ones are still in pain. Who am I to pursue happiness? Kuyanshan, I'm sorry. I'm not the same Li Shisha anymore. Man can only get in the way of my revenge. Chip, this recorder is a fake one. We've been tricked by Kushia. I thought so. Hey, Chi, good news. We found your sister. In that car accident, there were not only mom and dad, there was also my sister. But when mom and dad were carried out, my sister went missing. I've been looking for my sister all these years. Now I finally found her. Don't, don't touch me. I don't want to hear it. Stop. Dong Dong. I don't want to. Dong Dong. Dong Dong. I'm your sister. Dong. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Don't be afraid. It's okay. I'm here. Dong was sold to the countryside by traffickers. Her foster parents beat her and scolded her. She's been abused to the point of mental instability. But we've called the police. The police have arrested the traffickers and her foster parents. That's not enough. There's also the goose. They are the real culprit. It's my fault too. I didn't protect my sister. Don't worry, Chi. Tong will be fine. Yang Chen. Yang Chen, you still need to rest. I made you some soup all by myself. Ah, Cho Chu, I haven't seen you in a few days. Ready for a new boyfriend? Who is he? I'm Yang Chen Fiancy. We're getting married soon. I am her boyfriend. I'm going to the restroom. <laughs> Who is that man just now? I said, he's my boyfriend. Guyan <laughs> Chen, you are a member of the Coups. You were my enemy from the beginning. We won't have a result. Kuyan Chen, if you didn't understand what I said last night, I don't mind saying it again. I have never liked you. I was just playing with you. I really am stupid to have come looking for you. I will never do it again. Yan Chen. Where did you go? Oh, why is your hand bleeding? Shaya, weren't you going to marry me? I'll marry you now. Really? Chou Chu, let me tell you some good news. 
My father passed away. Gu Zhonghai has died. It's too easy for him to die like this. Although he has died, the recorder pen is in my hands. She will never get in. The limbs has been ruined. Well, the goose will enjoy love forever. <laughs> Cho Chu, you went through all this trouble, but nothing has changed. Cho Chu, my father is dead. You're out of the game. Miss Gu, my condolences. Cho Chu, what are you doing here? I'm your stepmom. Of course, I have to come. You never even registered with my father what kind of stepmother you are. But I'm carrying Zhonghai's child, the flesh and blood of the goose. Unexpected. Mr. Gu has a baby in his old age. Miss Chu is the great contributor to the goose. Didn't see that coming, did you? Gu Xing'er, I'm not out of the game yet. You don't have the right to stop the game. Now, the game continues. I will not rest until I destroy the goose. Mr. Gu. Brother, our stepmom is back. She's now carrying our little brother in her belly. Mr. Gu, what are you doing? Mr. Gu, what are you doing? I'm your stepmom. My father has passed away. Why did you come? What do you want? I came here to inherit the goose. I haven't been feeling well lately, and I haven't touched Cho Chi. Do you want me to expose your fake pregnancy in public? No. So you came to inherit the goose. And I will inherit you. You! I prepared a gift for you. Yan Chen, what do you want to do? Wear it tonight and come to my room. Tonight, I will inherit you. You're disgusting. This is the price of provoking me. If you don't come, you'll bear the consequences. I'm here. So enthusiastic, huh? Who are you? Why are you here? Chan Chan, didn't you call me here? And you even gave me a set of erotic lingerie. Who asked you to come? Chu Chu. Yan Chan asked me to give this to you. He asked you to meet him in his room tonight. Really? That's great. Chan Chan, I'm already wearing this lingerie. Do you like it? Get out. Chun Chun! Get out! Chou Chi, now that you want to play, I'll accompany you. Thank you. Stepmom, aren't you pregnant? I invited a doctor of Chinese medicine to check your pulse. I invited a doctor of Chinese medicine to check your pulse. No need, I just got checked at the hospital. Stepmom, don't worry. This doctor was hired by my brother. He is an expert in obstetrics and gynecology. Whether you're pregnant or not, he'll know from your pulse. Guyanchen, is this your revenge for last night? Hurry up and check my stepmother's pulse. How is it, my stepmom? Is pregnant? I have been a doctor for 40 years. I will never make a mistake, according to her polls. She is indeed pregnant.
Don't be nervous. I have instructed the doctor not to reveal anything about you, just to scare you a bit. Don't worry. Oh, you have cold sweat. I don't have that much patience. I'll give you one last chance. Come to my room tonight. I will inherit you. Gu Yanchen, I'm here. Are you satisfied now? Ah! What are you doing? Gu Yanchen! Gu Yanchen! I'm your stepmom! When my father was alive, you were my stepmother. Now that my father is gone, you are mine. Yan Chen, you, bitch, how dare you seduce my brother Yan Chen? I didn't seduce your brother. He forced me. The slap should make you reflect on yourself. Control your man. You? The slap is for you. In the future, control yourself. Yan Chen, look at her. Yan Chen. Zhou Ji can stay here. She's a disaster. Shinu, do you have any good ideas? Yanja, who scratched you? A wild cat. This little wild cat is quite wild. Dare to scratch you? Not only did she scratch me, she even dared to hit me. She's not only fierce but also wild. Made me really hot. Yanja, to be honest, you should marry a virtuous woman. I think that Miss Shun is pretty good. The little wild cat outside has had her fun. Let's just forget about it, huh? Yes. Let's forget about her. I should discard her. Sister? Brother, bad news. Something bad happened. Someone kidnapped Cho Chu and Shen Yan. Come over quickly. Little beauty. Today, let's have some fun. This is the ransom you wanted. Release them! We can only release one person. You choose who to save yourself. Why only one? They are so beautiful. I have to keep one for us to enjoy. <laughs> Make a choice. Quickly! I choose her. Yan Chen, I know you would choose me. Little beauty, you saw it. Mr. Gu doesn't want you anymore. He left you for us to enjoy. Over. Don't come over. Who are you trying to scare? If there's an explosion, we we'll all die. Don't come over. Come here. Don't come over. Ah! ah! Yan Chen, Chu Chi is dead. George, 
you're finally dead. Yanchen, I found a really beautiful photo. Let's look at it together. Wow! Brother, Yan, you look great together. Uh, wait, I shouldn't call you Yan. I should call you sister-in-law. You will be a bride tomorrow. Shinar, you're teasing me again. Yan, your hair is messy. Choo Choo, did you see that? After your death, our lips returned to normal. Now we're very happy. Very happy. Gu Yanchen, you murderer. You killed Chi. Get off me. Get off me. She deliberately approached the goose with ulterior motives. She lied to me and took advantage of me. A scheming and cruel woman like her deserves death, doesn't she? Who do you think you are? Daring to speak up for her? By the way, let me tell you. I've already played with her. We Chen, you bastard. You are gonna regret it. When you find out what the goose has done to Chi, you are gonna regret it. I don't know if I'm gonna regret it. I only know that you will definitely regret. Punching me just now. Beat him up! Gu Yanchen, you are gonna regret it! My brother bought this diamond ring for my sister-in-law. It weighs 13 carats and it's worth 400 million yuan. Wow! Jan, Mr. Kuril really spawns you. You two are so happy. Bride, do you take Gu Yanchen to be your husband? Will you love and be loyal to him? For better or worse, till death do you part? I do. Groom. Do you take Shen Yan to be your wife? Will you love and be loyal to her? For better or worse, till death do you part. She doesn't! Zhou Chu, why are you here? Aren't you dead? You guys are still alive. Why should I die first? I am still alive. How is it possible? You're dead in that fire. Someone saved me. Ah! Who are you? Boss, how should we deal with the kidnappers inside? Clean up this place and send them in. Are you injured? Don't be afraid. I'm always here. Who are you? Who saved you? Who? I don't know either. Chou Chu, today is my brother and Yan's wedding. Even though you are alive, you cannot change anything. How about this? Why is the recorder pen here? Give it to me! Gu Shenger, you are finished. Sir, what's the content of this voice recorder? The content of this voice recorder will make you regret for life. I want you to live in regret for the rest of your life. Yan Chen, don't listen to her. She's just talking nonsense to mess up our wedding. Pushing her. I'll give you one last chance. Tell everyone about the content of this voice recorder. No way. No way. Even at this time, you are still denying. It's a spread attack. Go away. Medicine. I need medicine. Go, Shinger. You can speak now. Choch, you want to trick me? Stop acting. The voice recorder in your hand is fake. Stop acting. The voice recorder in your hand is fake. I went back and checked just now. The real voice recorder is still in fact. It's in my place. That's right. This one in my hand is indeed fake. You hit it so well that I couldn't find it at all. <laughs> You wanna compete with me? No way. But now, 
I know. Oh no, I've been fooled. Gao Xing Er, thank you for leading the way. If it wasn't for your guidance, I wouldn't have known where the real recorder was hidden. Zhou Qi, you tricked me. So what? You? Why are you two so nervous about this voice recorder? Gu Yanchen, I told you that I want you to live in regret forever. Now, I'm gonna reveal the content of this voice recorder. Don't! <laughs> Zhou Qi, you've been tricked. This one is also fake. <laughs> Choo Choo, do you know who is trick now? Do you know who is straight now? <laughs> Gu Xiar, do you still have the voice recorder in your hand? It's him. Do you want this voice recorder? Here you are. Who are you? Why did you help Chochi? Who the hell are you? Who are you? May I know who you are? Yanchen. It's you. That's right. It's me. CR, what's the content of the voice recorder? Yanchen, there's nothing. Don't you believe your own sister? Of course I do. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back quickly. I want Yan to be my sister in law. Yanchen, it's you. She wants this voice recorder. I know. It's in your hand. So these days, I've been distant and cold to Chi, and the wedding with you. It was all fake. It was all a show for you to see. All for this moment. To take the real voice recorder from you. Anjin, you were fake to me. Our wedding was fake too. Shenyan, I won't marry you. I've said it before. I only love Chi, all alone. Gu Yanchen, you know, I took advantage of you. Why do you still treat me so well? Chi, if you only want to take advantage of me, then do it thoroughly. I've said it before, I'll give you whatever you want. Of course, including this voice recorder. Chi, don't be afraid. I'm always here. No, Yanchen. There's evidence of the ghost cry. In this voice recorder, you can give it to her. Or we'll be done for. Gu Yanchen, you still don't know what's inside the voice recorder, do you? I'll give you another chance. You can listen to it. I'll wait for you outside the ghost house tonight. If after listening to it, you still want to give it to me, then come find me. Chi, you should not give Kuyanchan the chance to choose. Do you think he'll come tonight? He has never known why I hate the goo so much. But now... He should know. Today I did something on Lin Jie's car to cause him a car accident. This way both the Lin's and Fang Yu will be mine. All the property of the Lin's will be transferred to my overseas account. I will become the next real estate tycoon. We've been waiting for three hours. Kuyanjin won't come. Then let's leave. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me.
show you. Now you get what you want. You won. Hurrah! See, uh, we finally won. Kian Chen must have given the first recorder to the police. The evil finally gets what it deserves. But where is Kian Chen? Why is he missing? Here he comes. Kian Chen. Hi, Mr. Gu won't come. Why? Where did he go? Mr. Gu left you this letter. You'll know after reading it. Chi, when you read this letter, I will already be at the airport. No matter who you are, Shi Shi or Chi, you're the love of my life. I've always been looking for you and wanted to protect you from all the trauma. But it wasn't until I heard the voice recorder then I realized that all the trauma you suffered was caused by the goose. The goose ruined your life. Chi. In the face of the sins committed by the goose, all the words I want to say right now are powerless and pale. All I can say is, sorry. I know I can't face you anymore, so I decided to withdraw from your life and won't bother you anymore. I've asked my security to liquidate all the goose property, all of the goose property, and you're inherited. T, I'm leaving. I wish you happiness, love, Gu Yanchen. Mr. Gu, we should go in now. The plane's about to take off. Si. Goodbye. Gu Yanchen! Gu Yanchen! Gu Yan Chen, you goose, destroyed us limbs and caused deaths. Do you just want to walk away? Chi, if you want my life, I can kill myself to a dawn. Gu Yan Chen, what do I want your life for? You idiot. What I want is you. Chi, what do you mean by that? Gu Yanchen, I want you alone to compensate for the crimes committed by your family. Don't leave. Don't leave me. I need you. Chi, marry me. Let's get married. Okay. Dong, today, sister is going to marry Yanchen. In the future, we will take good care of you. <laughs> so pretty, princess, princess. Oh, oh she, she don't cry. She should don't cry. Don't cry, okay? I sing you a song. The stars in the sky don't speak. The doll on the crown misses its mother. Our oh, Shishi and Tong will definitely be very happy. Throughout this life, I have always felt like a person abandoned by God. Both parents died. Sisters separated. Married to a scumbag. Lost my child. Happiness is so far away from me. But now, happiness is right beside me, within reach. Chi, we're here to take photos. Let's have a smile! Ah, uh, uh, help! Uh, no! Ah! Uh. Dong! 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 Chi, something bad happened. Guzia ran away. What? Chi. Look. Next up, the bride walks towards the groom. Everyone applaud. See, we finally made it to the end.
Why? Gu Yanchen, you didn't really think I wanted to marry you, did you? I just wanted to kill you myself at the wedding. <laughs> Have you ever loved me? Turns out I still don't deserve happiness. Never. President, I've already found Jose. She's right inside. Excuse me, here's the coffee you wanted. Shen, greet the guests. What are you doing? Let go. What's the matter, Jose? Have you forgotten about me after three years? I think I have the wrong person. My name is Xinxiang. I think I have the wrong person. My name is Xinxiang. What? You even changed your name. Hello, Mr. Gu. I am the owner of this coffee shop, Jifeng. You must have mistaken her for someone else. This is my fiancée, Xinxiang. Xinxiang. Okay. It's noted. Shun, are you okay? Okay, then you do your own thing first. That person is a big shot in your city, Guyanchen. In just three years, he become the richest man in the city overnight. With someone like him, as long as he speaks, our small coffee shop could be closed down. Sir, your coffee. Thanks. Shen, don't forget to go for your wedding dress fitting tomorrow. Okay. Wow, Miss Sin, you look so beautiful in this wedding dress. Hurry, let your future husband see. Chi! Very beautiful. Why is it you? Where is my fiancé? What are you doing? Let go of me! Shun, something went wrong. Someone found a blade in the drink at the shop. I need to go back and handle it. Did you do it? You know it was me, yet you still don't listen obediently. I'll crush your fiancé like crushing an ant so effortlessly. What exactly do you want to do? This wedding dress is not beautiful enough. Put on this wedding dress. Do you still remember this wedding dress? You got the wrong person. I'm not the person you are looking for. You still won't admit it? It's fine if you don't admit it. We will complete the wedding that happened three years ago. You crazy person! Crazy for you. Are you willing? It seems that you don't care about the life or death of your fiancé. A blade found in the coffee can be big or small. How about I drive him out of Ye City? This way, it's easier for me to take over you. I'm willing. I'm also willing. What exactly do you want to do? We are already married. Next is our wedding night, which is three years late. You crazy man. I'm not that person. Shen, Shen, where are you? Guyan Chen, what did you do to my sister? Not pretending anymore? Come here. Go and take a shower and wait for me in bed. The delayed wedding night after three years. I'm looking forward to it. I need to video chat with my sister. Take a shower first. You can do it after shower. 
Shang, I have been very obedient today. Oh, does your face still hurt today? No. Mm. My face doesn't hurt. Mm. She wants to cry. When you see my face, my face wasn't ruined by a bad woman. I did it myself. I accidentally scratched it. Mm. Shung, don't cry. Mm. Mm. Don't cry, don't cry. It doesn't hurt. Don't cry, Shung. Shung, I sing a song for you. The stars in the sky don't speak. The dust on the ground, Mr. Mom. Hey, Tom, it's time for us to go to sleep. Sleep? Three years ago, Tong was taken by Gu Xing Er. Gu Xing Er left a note that said, Tong is in my hands. If you want it hard to leave, stop Guyong at the wedding. And say that you never loved him. Never. I did as I was told and went to find Tong. Tong fainted on the floor with blood all over her face. Tong's face was completely disfigured. That's the punishment Gu Xing Er gave me. Tong wake up and saw me crying. I hugged her right away. She immediately hugged me and said that she wasn't in pain and that the scars on her face were self-inflicted. In the past three years, every time I've cried, Tong would say those words over and over again and sing to me. The stars in the sky don't speak. I've never hated the coos as much as I do now. I hate myself even more. Three years ago, I shouldn't have been so selfish. I shouldn't have sought my own happiness. And I couldn't even protect Tong. Does being with me make you so miserable? <laughs> Guyan Chen, I'm in so much pain. It hurts so much. <laughs> Chen, where does it hurt? My whole body hurts. Everywhere hurts. It hurts so much. Then I'll be gentle. <laughs> Chen, don't cry. In fact, I'm in pain too. Cushing her, why did I search for you for three whole years and couldn't find you? It's like you evaporated from this world. Where the hell are you hiding? Cushing her. It's you. Who is Cushing her? I'm not Cushing her. I'm Roman. Who is she? I won't be mistaken. I'd know Gu Xing Er even if she turned into ashes. Yang Chen, you're here. I'm going to marry Yang Chen. I'm his fiance. Chen Chen, who is she? Ah, I got it. She's the new maid, right? Let's go have breakfast. Little maid, what are you waiting for? Come and do some work. Yesterday, I went to see the wedding dress with my mom. Yang Chen, come on. I'll fetch you. Ah. What are you doing? I'm so sorry. You can't even do this simple thing well? Who hurt you? We'll fire her tomorrow. No need to wipe. I'll go upstairs and change my pants. Why are you here? I got your pants wet. I'm here to take care of your pants. What are you doing? Don't think I can't see it. You're trying to seduce me. So have you been seduced by me? What do you think? Did you have sex with that one money? Cushing is the sister of Guyan Chen. If they had sex, it means one money is not Cushing her. However, I'll never be mistaken. I need to find out who one money really is. What's up? Are you jealous? Yes. Come to my room tonight. I'll tell you. You've got your fiancé. I'm just one of your little maids. There are many types of maids. You're the little maid who climbs into the master's bed and warms it for him. 
Hu Yanchen, you've gotten so bad. Yanchen. Let's continue the night. Mr. Zhang, here's a toast to you. Tonight, why didn't any young girls come to play? I know Mr. Zhang likes young girls. I've already prepared them for you. Xin Xiu, come here. Sit next to Mr. Zhang. Go. Tonight, take care of Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhang. You are really pretty. Mr. Zhang, please don't do this. Let's have a drink, little girl. Xin Xiu, since you are so restless and like the seduce man so much, then tonight I'll make your wish come true. Mr. Zhang, why don't you go somewhere else to continue drinking? Hey, good idea. Let's go, little girl. Mr. Zhang, Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhang, please don't do this. Mr. Zhang. Xin Xiu, she's the woman who said she never loved you and even stabbed you at the wedding three years ago, right? You can't take pity on a woman like her anymore. I'm coming, little girl. Mr. Zhang, please don't do this. Little girl, I'll make you happy. Mr. Zhang! Oh, Mr. Gu, why did you hit me? Did this hand touch her? How dare you touch my woman? Mr. Gu! Mr. Gu, please forgive me! Mr. Gu! You did it on purpose. Mr. John can't even hurt you. You're acting on purpose. Do you enjoy seeing me go crazy for you? Do you think I can do anything about it? How dare you? You're the woman who stabbed me in the heart and said you never loved me. How dare you! So, you're just taking advantage of my love for you. Xiang Chen, this woman doesn't appreciate you. I do. Do you think I can't live without you? I'm going for one money now. Yang Chen, are you going after Xin Xiong? You saw that. You kissed me and she didn't even care. She doesn't love you at all. What I do with her, it's none of your business. Shang Chun. I won't marry you, because I'm married. When? Yesterday, she said she'd marry me in my heart. She's already my wife. <laughs> Yang Chun. Shi Shi, I chased after you anyway. Are you satisfied? In the end, I still lost to you. Shi Shi, do you know how much I hate you? I hate you for stabbing me in the heart. I hate more when you said you never loved me. But I hate myself even more. Even so, I still love you so much that I can't let you go. Do you know, I can't get you out of my mind every moment. Every day. I think of you. But what about you, Shishi? You simply have no heart. Guyan Chen, how can I have a heart? Three years ago, your sister cut my sister's face 22 times. 22 times. We were married on the 22nd. These 22 cuts on my sister's face are to remember this day. Every night, my sister can't sleep. She has nightmares. In her dreams, she keeps saying, don't come over. But every time she wakes up, she would see me crying. She'd hold me in her arms and comfort me. She'd say, over, over again. She's not in pain at all. 
Koyancha. It hurts so much. I'm really in so much pain. I hate you all. I hate you, the goose. Shisha, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I shouldn't have been mean to you just now. Actually, I didn't mean to be mean to you. I was just feeling sad about why you don't love me. Why can't I have your heart? Kuyanchen, I love you. But I'm scared now. I'm scared of the pain. Hi, Dr. Chen. I don't know what's wrong with my face. It's been itching a lot lately. My face was swollen when I woke up in this morning. It must be the side effect from when you did my plastic surgery. Let me tell you, my face is very important to me. If you can't fix it, you might as well quit the medical field. My face has been fine for three years. Why is there suddenly a problem now? How to fix my face? Woman A, so you are the wanted criminal. Gu Xing'er. I won't say it, you won't say it, who knows? What's wrong with you? It's you. Your face has been strange lately, hasn't it? That day at the bar, I sat next to Mr. Chung and secretly put drugs in your drink. That's why your face turned out like this. No wonder for the past three years, I couldn't find you. You had plastic surgery, transforming into one money. Gu Xing'er, I've called the police. They're already here. You can't get away. Let go of me. Don't run. Don't run. Go, Shinger. Don't hurt my sister. Shang. Do you want me to let her go? Then you should kneel down now and go down three times. Don't kneel. Don't say a word. Don't kneel. Don't kneel. Still not kneeling, huh? Then tell me, how many cuts should I make on her face this time? No, no! I'll kneel! Uh, 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 don't kneel, Shung. Don't kneel. <laughs> don't kneel, don't. <laughs> You're a bad woman. How dare you bully Sheng? Ah! Doctor! Doctor! Don't be so stupid. The bad woman caught me again. But this time... Tong was brave. You will wish protected Tong. This time, Tong protected Sheng too. Tong is the bravest. Tong is the bravest. <sighs> Daddy's gone. Mom's gone too. If Tong is gone, will it be hard for Sheng to be alone? But Mommy and Daddy and I. Love Xiong so much. We don't want to be a burden to you. We just want Xiong to be happy. Don't cry. Mommy, Daddy, and Tom will become stars in the sky. We'll always be watching over you. Stars in the sky. Don't say a word. Tom. You're all I have. I'm begging you. Don't go. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Gu Yanchen. Tom was killed by your sister. You also have the surname Gu. How dare you come here? How do you meet Shang? Mm -hmm. 
Mr. President, we're now searching for Gu Xinar. I believe we'll have the news soon. This is my hair and Gu Xinar's hair. Take it for DNA testing. Gu Xinar's behavior is really strange. She disguised herself as Wang Maini, and she wants to marry you, Mr. President. There's only one possibility. That you are not actually named Gu. Once the DNA results come out, we'll know for sure. Sha, you need to eat something first. If this continues, your health will suffer. I don't have an appetite. Xiaobao. Mm. Mommy misses Xiaobao. Xiaobao misses mommy too. Xiaobao is already at the airport. That's good. Mommy will pick you up later. Where is Shushu going? Mommy! Mommy! Did you miss mommy? Give mommy a kiss. Do you want mommy to take you to eat something yummy? Yes! Let's go! Are you out of your mind? I'm sorry. Xiaobao, mommy is going to the restroom. Wait here for mommy, okay? <laughs> Good boy. Daddy! Hey, let daddy pick you up high. You let daddy pick you up again. Daddy likes to hug Xiaobao. Let's go. That... Is that her son? That's her son with Zhou Jing. Xiaobao! Mommy! Xiaobao! In Mommy Meow Meow's belly, there's already a baby of Daddy Chujin. You, as his godmother and godfather, are more qualified than me, his real mom. Shu, aren't you planning to tell Guyanjin about Xiaobao? His Guyanjin biological son. When we're done with Guxinger, I'll tell him that three years ago, he became a father. Zhou Jin and Meow Meow. I have to deal with Guxinger first. Xiaobao! I leave Xiaobao with you for now. Don't worry. Just leave him to me. Xiaobao, mommy has to go now. You have to be good, okay? Bye bye. Be good. Bye, mommy. Let's go home. Sean, is that you? It's me. I thought you'd never come home again. Ku Chen, your foot is injured. Let me help you with it. It's fine. It doesn't hurt at all. You have a strong alcohol smell on you. Have you been drinking a lot? Yes, I have. Shun, I miss you so much, but I'm afraid to call you. Afraid of disturbing you. Tong's death. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did you do today? Nothing. I went to the office. On the way I saw a family of three. Their child was so cute. I wanted to kiss him. So, I secretly followed him. And in the end, I reached down my hand. Want to touch that unreachable happiness. 
Gu Yanchen. You are a father now, too. Sure. Let's have a baby. Give me a child. Gu Yanchen, remember. Use protection. Xia Bao is the result of your not using protection. Okay. Gu Yanchen, what are you asking for? How could Shi Shi give you a child? The dirty blood of the goose flows in your veins. By the way, what did you just say? I said, Shi, I love you. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Mr. President, the results are out. Mr. President, the DNA results show that you and Gu Xing are not biological siblings. You're not the son of the goose. Mr. President, this is the adoption record from the orphanage. At that time, Gu Zhonghai's wife was diagnosed with infertility. So when you were very young, Gu Zhonghai adopted you. My surname is not Gu. I'm not a part of the goose. Now, I'm going to tell Shen. The number you have dialed cannot be connected at this time. Please try again later. Sorry. Is the bodyguard with Shen? Hello? Mr. President, something bad happened. Ms. Ling has been kidnapped by Gu Xingar. What? What were the bodyguards doing? This morning, Ms. Ling deliberately distracted the bodyguards. It seems like she was creating an opportunity for Gu Xingar, acting as bait to lure and capture Gu Xingar. Ling Xin Xin, didn't expect this, huh? I caught you again. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Gu Xingar, you're so stupid. I have a tracking device on me. Your escape is over. You're despicable. <laughs> ah! This lap is for my parents. <sighs> this lap is for my sister. Uh, this lap is for myself. Gushinger, you are a devil in human form. Spend the rest of your life in prison. Uh. God so hell. Kuyanche! Brother. Kuyanche! You are not the son of the goose. I really like you. Let's take the money and live happily together, okay? Goose, you are. Immediately raise your hands and surrender. Stop right there. Ah. Gu Yanchen, it's okay. Let's go to the hospital right now. Shisha. Shisha. I was afraid it would be too late. That's why I couldn't wait to tell you. I'm not a member of the goose. I'm not the son of the goose. I know it. I know it. Kuyan Chen, let me tell you. I've given birth to a son. Shi Shi, that day when I saw him, I followed you all the way. He looks so much like you, like an angel. I like you very much. Shi Shi. Shi Shi, don't cry. I'm not a member of the ghost. This is really great. If there's a next life, I hope you can like me. You can love me. Can you? Give me a child. Kuyan Chen, there are so many things I haven't told you. The words I never loved you were a lie. The sun is yours. The sun is yours. Kuyan Chen. Our son.
son looks so much like you. He said, he said he wants daddy to pick him up high. He said, daddy's lift will definitely be higher than Jojin's lift. I haven't congratulated you yet. Guyan-chan, you are a father now. You are a father now. Guyan-chan, wake up. Wake up. Our son and I can't live without you. <laughs> Guyan Jun <laughs> Mommy, where did Daddy go? Daddy went to a very far away place. But he will definitely come back. Because he said he has always been here. Daddy. Kuyanchen, you're finally home. <laughs>